Here I'm going to show you how to use uh, Kartra's video hosting service. Um, this is particularly useful if you want to, as I have done here, host a series of videos for a, an online course. Uh, you have the ability to put videos into categories and also into playlists. So again, if you have a course, everything I've put in for this online marketing course, eight videos, is in a playlist. So this again gives you uh, different options to how you present it to your users. So let's go through um, how you actually get a video up and in place. And much like everywhere else in Kartra, it starts in the bottom right with a, a green button. Click on that to add a video. It gives you the option here to upload a single video or upload multiple videos. In this situation, I'm going to just upload the one video. And you give your video a name. So we'll put it in here as Kartra test. Uh, you select a category. Uh, here I've got a couple of categories, course lesson, which is for the training materials, and Kartra tutorial. I'm going to put it under the tutorial, uh, because pretty much that's what I'm making here. Um, create the video. And what you then have is a series of menus. First thing you need to do is, is upload the video. Uh, if it's uh, on the menu, you can drag it in. Uh, in this situation here, I've actually got it uh, saved in the folder as an MP4. So again, take that and click on Open. And it goes through the upload process. Upload is completed. Uh, it normally takes a few minutes, depends on your internet connection. But the file is now in place and we can start adding some more features around it. Um, going through the menus here, uh, display uh, actually allows you to place the video uh, a particular way in a landing page. There's some examples, either as an inverted video or as a pop-up. Uh, these are different ways you can actually build that into your uh, marketing. Or you can just have it as a file that you can send a link to. Uh, appearance. Um, this is something that really you should have with every video is um, to put a, a, an image on the front to just make everything look right. So I've got a video image here which I can select and, and add and again that will get uploaded here pretty quick uh, but now this has a, a sort of nice front page to the, uh, the, the video. Um, Going down a little bit further, you've got the option to show control. So again, if you want people to be able to move back and to through the video, you can have that. Um, you can basically have it auto run. I tend to leave the controls running, but that's choice. Uh, mute on start can be useful if you don't want to sort of be too intrusive. Uh, sometimes people don't like a, a lot of noise coming out as soon as they open the window. Um, you can select the skin color. Uh, basically around the outside of it so you can see what it's presented as if you've got a sort of a, a brand or a look and feel you want to keep um, also play on load again if you want it to go straight from the link and start playing that can sometimes be uh, preferable Slow showing social share buttons so you've got your Facebook links and things like that you can have those actually on the bottom uh, overlay title, this is really an alternative to the image, so it puts a, a sort of a, a label across the top. That can be a different way of presenting it. And then you've got some marketing functions down the bottom here. Uh, call to action, uh, you can actually add a call to action below the video so that it prompts people to, to click on something, maybe a link to a, a landing page or some form of offer. Uh, tag leads, again, if people watch the video uh, through a certain length, you can tag them. Um, this is really where you're working in conjunction with your email list and then you've got and actions which again gives you options to either if you want to keep the video looping you can do that you can have uh, you go into another video maybe the next one in your playlist or you can have it redirecting to maybe a landing page or another website or blog post uh, again that's something that can be useful if you want to bring people back somewhere at the end of uh, the video so got all those set up pretty happy with that setting so let's publish the video and there you have it all set up and ready to roll um, the only other thing I want to quickly talk about is the playlists 
here you have the option to set up playlists for example here I've got one that's my online marketing course and that uh, gives you uh, option to show you know, courses course material but in a playlist so you can actually see the other videos in the uh, list um, which is good if you've got something like a course or you've got a series of videos you can display those so people don't have to boot around to try and find them so again pretty helpful and if you want to add a playlist you just click on the button enter the name and we'll put in you know, Cadre tra training maybe and click on next select a category tutorial select video we'll have a look at this uh, maybe the build a tutorial add it and there you go and you can add additional videos you can take it from different categories maybe I want to add a course lesson in there I can click one of these add it and you can see it like playlist builds up and uh, you can add various different material to that pretty useful stuff so that really summarizes what we have available in the video hosting side. Uh, if you're dealing with online courses, that can be linked in with the, the membership area. So you can have people who will join in the membership and then have access to a series of, of lesson videos. So again, that's pretty, pretty intuitive. Um, very good for anybody who runs online courses with, with uh, video content, which, which most of the good ones have. Um, hopefully that was useful. Um, uh, have a play, see what you think. Uh, I'm certainly very impressed with the way it works. Upload is completed and uh, it normally takes a few minutes, depends on your internet connection, but the file is now in place and we can start adding some more features around it. Um, going through the menus here, uh, display uh, actually allows you to place the video uh, a particular way in a landing page. Here's some examples, either as an inverted video or as a pop up. Uh, these are different ways you can actually build that into your uh, marketing. Or you can just have it as a file that you can send a link to. Uh, appearance. Um, this is something that really you should have with every video is um, to put a, a, an image on the front. To just make everything look right. So I've got uh, an image here. Um, if I go into um, this, here's a, an image I created in, in, in Canva recently. So I just click that, click open. And then that is basically uploaded into here. Um, what you've also got is the ability to try different controls. You can show controls. So again, if you want to allow people to move through the video a little bit quicker or slower, you can show those. Uh, option to mute on start. Again, if it's something where you don't want it to be too intrusive, you can pull that over. Uh, skin color, you can change the background color. Um, not quite what happened there. Um, so with the skin color you can select the the, the actual background uh, you've also got the ability to um, set it up for autoplay um, or have it so you've got your social share buttons showing on the page uh, you can put a title overlay and you can actually enter that so that it puts a, a title over the top if you're running an image you probably don't need to do that but if you don't then it's good to have that option and you've also got um, more sort of marketing relating activities call to action you can actually put a, a link below the video that um, takes people maybe to a, a landing page or an offer of some kind uh, you can uh, put a tag in there so that if you add it to your list you can tag the video um, if any leads come from it they get tagged so if someone say watches the video clicks the call to action you can tag them and then the end action, you can actually add other things onto it. So you can have it looping. You can have it moving into another video, say on the playlist. Or you can actually, again, redirect it to a landing page of some kind. So lots of flexibility as to what you can do once you've put the video up. So let's publish the video. See what it actually looks like in the finished article. And you can see here it's, it's set up, ready to roll. Um, 
some reason it hasn't actually taken the image but as you see the ones next to you here these have got images that have gone in front of it um, maybe something wrong with the file not sure but you can see that this is uh, the landing page tutorial and there's also various marketing course materials here so just briefly want to go into the playlist section which I mentioned right at the start here I've got a playlist set up and you can create a new playlist by clicking on the add here uh, give the playlist a name again I'll do Cartra test click next uh, you can put it into a category as before so again tutorial and Cartra test and add and there you can see this name you can then add uh, different videos to that and here are my course lesson videos or you can go into the Card tutorial and again this list of videos there so really selecting whatever category you want you can take videos from different categories and add them in um, or you can just go with the one so again I'm going to add this one here and you can see it on the list here uh, click on continue um, again you've got the same sort of thing with the controls um, responsive basically is what I would suggest you use as default that gives you the option to have it respond size wise to things like mobile or tablets click on finish and there you have it so again you've got two different playlists here which you can have links to so people can come straight to the playlist rather than just going to individual videos pretty clever stuff so i hope you found that useful this gives you a, a, an indication of what is what carter of video hosting really is capable of um, I found combining it with the, the membership option means that you can actually provide access to course material through a, a level of membership and the video content can be accessed once people sign up. For, again, very useful for hosting an online course or just making sure you can curate your, your video content um, professionally in a well-managed way.